right, the light is fading here at Del Mar, the first Breeders' Cup World Championships at the uh, Southern California track. In the books, it was a gorgeous day, just like Friday, uh, and what a Breeders' Cup. Long shots all over the place, Gunrunner delivers in the Breeders' Cup Classic. The handle is up, uh, the crowd was awesome. I mean, you really, not much to complain about. <laughs> Operationally, it was seamless. I talked to a lot of people who had never been to Del Mar until this weekend. A lot of horsemen from back east to go to Saratoga. They want to come back. Maybe not just for the Breeders' Cup, but in the summer. This was a, a tremendous day for the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club and for the Breeders' Cup. And for betters who chose to pick long shots all day long, we had 60 to ones and 30 to ones and 17 to ones. The pick four for 50 cents, the early one, it paid almost $300,000. I didn't have it, I didn't have it. I didn't either. <laughs> uh, and then on the track, you know, in terms of the, the results, the favorites, the big time favorites like Bolt Doro, Unique Bella, Lady Aurelia, Lady Eli, they just, they didn't fire. A lot of the Eclipse Award divisions have been settled, obviously, Horse of the Year, Gunrunner, Older Male, Gunrunner. Yesterday we saw, I think, the champion Older Female, Forever Unbridled. The two-year-old division's interesting. Bolt Doro finished third, but he had a tough trip, and uh, the horse that beat him was a maiden. Yeah, that's true. Uh, in terms of the turf, you know, you did have one favorite winning. That was world approval. I think he pretty much solidified uh, the turf champion. As a miler, I think he will be the turf champion. And, and uh, you know, the, the, the sprinter, that's another division I think was settled with Roy H. Up, you know, upsetting Dre Fong. One, one interesting note about the, the racetrack, we've had some Southern California Breeders' Cups where this, it was speed favoring. Today, throughout the day, closers were winning on the dirt, except for the Breeders' Cup Classic. They basically went in a merry-go-round, and they set some pretty strong fractions and still finished it off. So I think the track might have changed you know, between the last dirt race, because that was a couple of hours at least, and the cooler weather. So. If you were you're banking on closers, it didn't happen. I think the one question that people are going to be asking after this Breeders' Cup is, when is it coming back to Del Mar? I think that's a good uh, assumption. All right, that's going to do it for our final News Minute. Thanks so much for joining us. Any horse can develop certain types of lameness. Adequan IM, proven to reverse degenerative joint disease, stimulate cartilage repair, and improve overall joint function in the knee and hock joints. Talk to your veterinarian about FDA-approved Adequan IM. Safety not established in breeding horses, not for use in horses intended for human consumption.